Vicon Canberra 2017. Woo! We did it! You <laughs> did! Okay, uh, my name's Justin Freeman. Um, I'm one of the hosts today of Supercon Canberra. There's two other people who will be hosts as well. Uh, Seamus Lee from New South Wales Greens and Peter Davis from Fusion. Um, before we get started, I'll just do um, welcome to country. So uh, we wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we're meeting on, the Ngunnawal people. Uh, we wish to acknowledge and respect their continuing culture and contribution they make to the life of this city and this region. And we would also like to acknowledge and welcome other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who may be attending today's event. Okay, yes, that's us. Okay, so yes, thank you for coming. A bit backwards. Um, quick mention of the conference sponsors. Uh, Agile Wear and Fusion. Audience Wear and Linux Australia. Um, and if you do need help with your CVCRM installation or you have some questions or anything like that, um, please hit up, hit us up on our name tags. There's a sponsor, and I don't even have my name tag, but uh, there's a little sponsor label on the name tag so you can talk to these people. Um, sponsors contributed financially to the event, so they actually paid for the event. All right. We do have other supporters as well, from which um, if we didn't have the support of these guys, uh, this event wouldn't be possible. Uh, New South Wales Greens, uh, cvcrm.org as well, providing logistical and um, emotional support, and uh, the National Library of Australia as well, providing these great facilities for our event today. Um, I thought before um, I kick off into the next session that we'll just give a quick overview of CVCRM as it stands around the world. So currently, uh, well, as of yesterday, in fact, um, there were 10,693 active CVCRM sites around the world. And an active CVCRM site is a site that an admin has logged into in the last 100 days. So um, here's a pretty graphic with nice colours, which shows you the distribution of CVCRM sites around the world. And I think probably there's only a few locations that CVCRM hasn't been installed into. Um, Greenland, um, some parts of Africa, and uh, Mongolia, it looks like. But um, CVCRM is definitely um, far-reaching in terms of uh, its deployment throughout the world. In Australia, we have 493 active CVCRM sites. So again, these are sites where people have logged in as an admin in the last 100 days. So 493 is not a bad number. So why do we use CVCRM? CVCRM can't, can't really be described as a single piece of software or a single solution. It includes a lot of different features. So we have contact management, and we track relationships, we manage groups, uh, we record activities, uh, we register memberships, we track event registrations, we print out event name tags, uh, receive donations, send out newsletters to our contacts. Um, it has built-in search and report facilities. Uh, most importantly, it helps reduce our admin by doing automation, um, integrating with third-party systems and other systems you have at your disposal. And, of course, it's customisable. So it can actually be adapted to meet your requirements. Who uses CVCRM? Well, there's a good representation of the users of CVCRM here. So we have associations, non-profit organisations, museums, uh, government and commercial organisations use CVCRM. So CVCRM supports your mission, whatever your mission might be. So to reduce your admin, to work smarter, to retain organisational knowledge, um, to adapt to change. And it helps you get things done. So I don't know if you know about Skywale in Canberra. It's quite controversial. It seemed appropriate for Canberra. <laughs> OK. So today we've got some uh, case studies. Uh, we have some demonstrations. There is time for questions and answers as well. And being a relatively small group, I do invite you to you know, put up your hand or engage with the speaker after the session and ask questions. Um, it's a good time to do that. Um, especially there might be other people in the audience as well who are thinking the same question but haven't asked it. And also, uh, very importantly, it's a chance for you to meet other CVCRM users in the community, in Australia, and ask them how they're going. How do they solve certain problems? How do they use CVCRM? Uh, one of the things I constantly am surprised by is when I talk to our CVCRM users, is that they ask 
the same questions that other users have asked. And I always think if they could just get together and talk to each other in a social format, then they'll probably you know, be able to support each other in a much better way. All right. We're very lucky today to have a keynote.